Welcome to the Greg's Review Show today. And today, YouTubers, we're going to talk about a very, very important topic. Uh, something that we all go through every now and then. And something that we can just use, get away from our lives when we're dealing with situations like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about our topic today. And our topic today is tips to eliminating toxic men in your life. Ladies, there are several ways to eliminate toxic guys in your life. So without further ado, let's get into it. But before we get into it, thumbs up, thumbs up, like and share this video. Someone needs to hear this great, great video about staying away from toxic men or toxic people in your life that mean you're no good and they're no good for you. So let's get into it. One of the things I thought about is identifying toxic people in your life. And what are the first steps you should do when you're identifying toxic people in your life and you want to get away from them and you don't want it in your life? The number one thing I thought about, ladies and gentlemen, is to be firm. And what I mean by that, be firm in your answers and things that you stand for in life. Never let a guy come in and just do you any old kind of way, talk to you any old kind of way, and disrespect you. Never allow that to happen. If he's a narcissist and he's very toxic, Get away from him. You don't need that in your life. You don't. Stay away from those kind of toxic people. Another one is, ladies, you want to set boundaries. When you're in a relationship or friendship with a guy or a woman, fellas, you want to set boundaries. Things that you're not going to stand for. Things that you're going to stand for. Just take, for instance, I'm not going to take a uh, disrespect. I can't have that. If you're going to disrespect me, we can't, we can't set up. We can't do anything. So there has to be some kind of respect boundaries in the friendship or relationship. Respect is everything and communication is everything. So we got to have that. Another one is don't be afraid to say no, ladies and guys. Don't be afraid to say no. If you're nice too much, such as me, Sometimes it can go the wrong way, but sometimes you got to say no, ladies. So don't be afraid to say no to that guy or no to that lady. Another one is realize it's not your job to save them. You have to realize, ladies and gentlemen, it's not your job to save people. Some people don't want to be saved. For example, you might have a boyfriend that has a gambling addiction, that might have a drug addiction. You don't want the clubs, the, the clubs, the clubs, the this and that with this guy. He still wants to be out in the street. You try to get into counseling. You pray for this guy. He doesn't want to change or do anything to try to save the relationship. So what can you do? You can't save people that don't want to be saved. They got to want to be saved. If they want to go to Alcoholics Anonymous, they need to go there. If they want to get some drug rehab, Let's get there and do it. But if they don't want to do it, you need to get out of that toxic relationship because it's not going to get better. So staying in toxic relationships that's abusive and that's hurting you, you need to get out and save yourself. So that's the thing that I noticed. Another one is know that when it's done, it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're over with a guy, you're over with a lady, it's done, it's done. Don't go back into a situation, ladies and gentlemen, and you know it's not working. You know he doesn't love you. He don't want you. He never wanted you. She wants you. She never loved you or wanted you. Stay out of that kind of stuff. If it's toxic, you can't get along with that individual. There's no good communication there. That person doesn't want you. That sh person showed you with their actions that they don't care about you, that they don't want you, and they don't want to be around you. Get out of that toxic relationship and get into a great relationship that someone that can love you for who you are and what you're about it. And last but least, treat your separation like to a breakup as though you've never been with that person before. Eliminate those toxic wastes. Eliminate those toxic behaviors. 
in the friendship or relationship, if it's not healthy for you and conducive to you mentally and spiritually, get out of that relationship. The Bible says how two can walk together is lest they do what? Unless they agree with each other. So you want to be with somebody that's going to treat you fairly. Somebody's going to respect you. Somebody's going to communicate with you effectively. Somebody's going to love you and treat you the way you want to be treated. And somebody's going to tell you the truth. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And when you're right, you're right. That's the kind of guy, ladies, you want to be with, or men, you want to be with a lady that's like that. You want to be with somebody that cares about you, that cares about your well-being, cares about your ups and downs in life. Someone that can love you inside and love you outside. And that's what it's all about. So that's what I wanted to talk about, YouTubers, is tips on staying away from toxic friendship, toxic relationships, toxic whatever. You don't need that in your life. Life is too short to be dealing with toxic, wasted people. Get away from that. And so we're going to say a quick prayer that God will eliminate toxic friends in your life that's a waste of time. Toxic relationships, that's a waste of time. And just toxic anything, just not doing you any good. We're going to pray that God send you the right people in your life, send you the right relationship in your life, send you the right man or woman in your life, and that it will grow and flourish the way God intended for it to be. So let's pray real quick, YouTubers, that God will get you out of this wasted, toxic relationship. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray right now that you eliminate these toxic relationships in our life that mean us no good. Father, send good people in our life that mean good, that can help us on our journey and our walk with you, Lord. And each and every day we pray this, Father. We ask for a healthy relationship with you. We ask for a healthy relationship with Jesus Christ. And Lord, that you would take us further and further in life and send us great people in our life that can sow into us and that can help us in our daily walk. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's wonderful. That's good. So now pray to God to send you some good toxic, not toxic people in your life, but the right people that's in your life that's going to balance you out, that's going to tell you the truth, and that's not going to lie to you, but they're going to, guess what? They're going to keep it 100. And so that's what you want. You want a good guy in your life, a good woman in your life that's going to tell you the truth. And it's going to tell you that they love you. And not only that, they're going to show it. They're going to demonstrate it. And they're going to show it by their actions that they're saying do. So that's it, YouTubers. Thank you for you turning into the Greg's Review Show. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Please like and share this video. Uh, someone needs to hear this wonderful video. Please say help support us on Cash App, G-R-E-C, dollar sign, man trap. That's Cash App, G-R-E-C, dollar sign, man trap. 50 cents, a dollar, whatever you could help to support our YouTube channel will be great. Right there, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, that like button. Hit that like button right there. There you go. Hit that like button. Hit it. There you go. And subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. And Lord, say the same. I'll see you next week. And remember, stay out of those toxic relationships. Get away from people that don't mean you any good. Get away from people that's trying to tear you down and get around positive God loving people. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.